when a laser strikes the aircraft and particularly the cockpit, uh, the, um, the, 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 the shock is, is quite immediate. Um, the uh, illumination of the flight deck is very brilliant and uh, occasionally uh, pilots have been known to uh, have a, a laser actually uh, enter their eye and uh, cause them some uh, temporary loss of vision. Uh, sometimes it reflect, refracts off uh, other glass and instruments within the flight deck. Uh, can, that can lead to a sort of scattering effect of, of the laser. And as lasers are getting more powerful, uh, we're seeing that that effect is far, far worse. Well, part of the problem is that it tends to occur on either takeoff or landing critical flight phases. And in that situation, pilots are requiring their full attention to be brought onto the instruments of the aircraft and managing that aeroplane down onto the runway safely. Uh, what we are finding is that that uh, is a, uh, a distraction uh, at, at the minimum, and at worst, it's a flight safety risk in that it interferes with our fundamental procedures in getting the aeroplane on the ground. Um, essentially, by putting the uh, high-powered lasers into um, uh, this category that allows law enforcement to uh, to act uh, swiftly uh, will hopefully uh, greatly reduce the likelihood of them uh, either uh, interfering with uh, airports operations uh, or injuring flight crew potentially. They are very uh, dangerous items, uh, particularly the high power uh, lasers which uh, have been known to uh, come from uh, foreign markets. They often don't have uh, the wattage output that uh, is advertised on the, on, on the side of the laser. So I would say that overall my message is uh, that they should get rid of them.